hold under the weight of that, then you drive into the, this mastoid muscle with your center, and it's probably going to knock your partner out. That probably doesn't take much to make that happen, if you do all things considered. Of course, it's not my ambition to knock people out, but it's my ambition is to make my karate powerful and, and, and succinct as possible. Okay. So, uh, so that's that. Then, um, I, I, yeah. let's try something really different. Okay, so, so maybe we're going to make a And my partner's going to make his uh, oitsuki attack. And I'm going, to, I'm going to basically, I'm going to come in to him. I'm going to kind of draw this shape. And I'm going to connect, come into him. And I'm just going to kind of put my weight on the edge of my forearm and have this sense of connection. Like the other night when we did it, we did it where we kind of like stopped our partner. And then we made this kind of takedown, right? But now I'm just going to let my heavy, relaxed heaviness just find a home on the edge of my forearm. And I want to do that with, a, with, again, this upness. Like, he's got a good sense of this. And I would say, don't look at your partner's eyes. Look, <laughs> try to look through your partner. Try to have that feeling of, like, my eyes are going this direction, but I'm kind of taking in the totality of him. If I look at, if I, if I look at his eyes, I'll get caught by that. If I look at the technique, I get caught by that. I don't want anything to pull my technique into my caughtness. I want, I, as I'm moving, I want to feel this sort of, this sort of general, streaming, connected feeling that keeps me in the world. My antenna is still radiating its radio wave. Do you follow? Yes. And, you, you know, and I, again, I, that, that you might find is about as difficult as catching that relaxed state. Like you think it's easy, but it's not so easy. Because people will have that good sense of connection in the beginning. Like they'll, they'll steady their gaze on their partner, but then they'll do this. You see my eyes? Watch, it's a very subtle thing. I'll do, they'll do this. They'll kind of be pulled in. Right? No. I would say just connect. Just connect. Just connect. And even feel, even when he backs up, you're still pressure, your connection is still kind of imposed on him. You follow? Yes. Yes. Try, to, try that with a little bit. You have a block, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Your block isn't good, but you're, you're caught by your block. <coughs> You know, or or you're you're looking for some sort of maybe validation or like connection to your partner like you can like was that a good one? <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm it's like a little almost a uh, thing where we don't even realize, but we we look for feedback, right? Right? You know, and so but I would say you don't you don't give a crap about that. You're just doing your thing. Don't worry about the feedback. Just tune into your body. So when when you're moving, I'm like my, I'm like I, he's there, but I'm really not looking at him. I, my eyes are going out, and they would say, the expression is often is, you're looking with soft eyes. Like, this is looking at him. This is looking with soft eyes. My eyes are going the same way, but one, it's streaming. The other, one is infinite, the other one's finite. And you want, when you get in that state where you're just streaming, that's when you open the fridge and catch the egg. But if you open the fridge and look for the egg, it never works. Do you understand my, what I'm, you're, you're basically, I'm not saying it's a guarantee, but you're putting your body in a state that it's able to operate spontaneously. Yes. That's probably the key to the whole idea. That, that, at that point there, you're putting your body in a state where you have the most, best opportunity to feel the occurrence so that any movement he makes or anything that he makes, I am with him on that. I am in the moment. I'm not back a bit judging the moment. Okay? Yeah, try it one more time. Yep. 